magnify his name and bring peace to the world. Assalamu alaikum. It is very tragic. A Nakba. A Nakba that's not just today, but somehow broke through the barriers and became visible to some more of humanity than yesterday. This Nakba started not out of a vacuum, it started a hundred odd years ago by a group of people who had a plan of nationalism, of creating their state. This was a selfish, flawed, unacceptable plan of creating nationalism called Zionism. This Zionism, when they wanted to make the plan, was entirely created by people who rebelled against God. They wanted to transform my religion, Judaism, from subservience to God and to nationalism, disobeying every law of the Torah, disobeying what God told us when we accepted the Torah 3,000 years ago, that we must be subservient to Him. In this Torah it says, Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. In this Torah it says, Mahu just as God is compassionate, you must be compassionate. Three thousand years of my people from the Jewish religion died, lived and died for this covenant that we made with God. Two thousand years ago there was the destruction of the temple and the Almighty told us through the prophecies of King Solomon that we are forbidden to re-establish any sovereignty in the world and certainly not in the Holy Land. But these heretics, and this is the meaning of the independence of the State of Israel in 1948, where nobody is covering their heads. In NKUSA.org, you can see all these pictures. These heretics, because they didn't have the morals of the Torah and in order to gain legitimacy, the massive support that they needed, they therefore masqueraded in the name Israel, in the star of David, in my religion. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. This is not Judaism. This is not Judaism. Is just the contradiction antithetical, the exact opposite of Judaism. This is Satan. This is not serving God. This is rebelling against God. We cry. The Jews who are living in Palestine and occupy Palestine and Jews around the world. We cry. We hurt. We feel. We sympathize. We suffer with the people of Gaza and the people of Palestine.
before there was Hamas. Then they claimed it's this hater of Jews. Forty years ago it was that hater of Jews. When you want to speak up, they say, will you condemn Hamas? Or else I won't talk to you. They want you to show insensitivity to the Palestinian people. Now let's get something straight. I'm not condoning violence. But we're saying that obfuscating by diverting attention from what's the truth, this is criminal. They are the cause of 1,400 people who died. Their blood, their blood, people who are the Palestinian people of 75 years and more, and Jewish bloodshed from 75 years and more. Again, we're not condoning violence. We have cried. We have it's tragic. We know it's tragic. It's our blood. All of it is our blood. But why? How dare they? Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free Palestine! 